One of the things that inspired me to be a co-founder of ENG8 was that I grew up in Africa, huge amounts of poverty around us and beautiful clear skies. Now, you still have poverty around us and we have very polluted skies. It's never easy to work on something which has long development cycles. I have been working on this project since 2017. ENG8 relies on a scientific technical team that have been in the business for approximately 30 years. We have around 35 scientists and engineers in the company. The vision of ENG8 is a vision of clean, abundant, decentralized energy, which is available 24-7, when and where it's needed, and it's more cost-effective and alternative solutions. With this technology, we could pretty much end pollution, from the wind and solar farms, to the oil and gas fields, to the cars and buses and generators polluting our environment. When we first came across this technology, it seemed too good to be true. At some point at the early stage, when we were walking and looking at the technology, I realized that this technology, it really works. Since 2017, we've taken them from lab scale all the way through to pre-production prototyping, which is what we're doing at the moment, and getting them ready for manufacture. When technology like this will hit the market, the impact can be global and it will touch everyone, industries, communities and households, and everyone will benefit in some way. ENG8's impact on manufacturing will be significant because if you can reduce the cost of manufacturing, whether it's food from a farm or whether it's materials from a factory, at the end of the day, everything's based on energy. So the cost of energy going down considerably will reduce the cost of everything we consume in our society. The process that's been developed over 30 years by a number of physicists around the world is called low energy nuclear reactions. And what these do is transmute elements into energy. So in our case, we take the oxygen and the hydrogen from water and we transform it into energy. And in that process, it's not a chemical reaction, it's a low energy nuclear reaction. Nuclear pathways are far more efficient at converting mass to energy than it is converting through a chemical pathway. We've been able to get to this tipping point where we can now start commercializing this very early stage technology into commercial products. The cost of energy which will be produced by energy cell is projected to be at least half in comparison with the grid electricity cost or the cost of the energy which is produced using oil and gas. ENG8's energy cell system is made up of commercially available off-the-shelf materials and components. We don't need any exotic fuels to go in. We use the water that's around us in the air or in the rivers or the sea. So we don't create any pollution. We just create clean, abundant energy for all. We really have something special, something which is far beyond what other companies have achieved. We've been regularly carrying out independent validation of the energy cell technology. We consider independent validation to be key to the development and success of ENG8 and the wider LNER community. The minimum viable economic product is a 100 kilowatt thermal and electrical power generator. It's approximately a meter by a meter by a meter, and that enables us to put multiple units inside containers. The scalability also enables it to be made cost effectively at location, so you don't need distribution lines, gas pipelines, etc. You can have the power in your pocket your phone or your car. We have raised around 10 million to date and the share price for the company shares has risen from 2 to 20 euros over the last two years. If you want to join ENG8 in any capacity, whether it's investor, strategic partner or the client, contact us on our website.